Hi, it's uh, me. It's me. No, no, it's me. Your, uh, hey, go away. Yeah, go away. It's me, your foreign friend. Go away. Uh, avoid a cultural door in your face when you come to Norway. Today we are going through 10 uh, small and big things, stuff to do, stuff not to do, and what to talk about and not talk about at all. And in the end, number 10, I mean, if you want to avoid falling off a cultural cliff in Norway and kill off your social life here, you need to know it. You're not welcome. Hello, I heard you won 1 million euros in Lotto. Um, hello? What do you think about your father died? Um, uh, are you angry? For you, when you arrive to Norway and you start to try to have a conversation with Norwegians, of course you can't speak the language, that takes time to understand, but you think at least you can watch the facial expressions, you can, face, uh, you can watch the body language and try to get some clues and some decoding from that. But uh, sorry for you guys, in Norway we don't have facial expressions and we almost have no body language. So you will meet a lot of people that are just sitting like me here and... Oh, I heard you got children. You might think that uh, us Norwegians are very introvert, we are shy and therefore when we are in our homes we will shut the door, we will sh shut the curtains and we will... Uh, keep the outside world outside <laughs> but on the contrary you look out of the window and the first thing you will notice is that your neighbors don't have curtains you don't have curtains and curtains is not a big thing here in Norway. It's like live TV from yeah. your broadcasting so from your apartment. So if you are very lucky you will see your old neighbor naked scratching his uh, crutch while he is scrolling on his phone and walking on the toilet. through his uh, apartment. Or you could be watching me doing my thing here in this curtainless bathroom. Norwegians are impossible to understand. I mean, you have arrived to Norway, you have settled down and you have learned some of the most basic words like yes and no. So you think at least you will find out if people say yes or no. But that's not the thing here in Norway. B because y yes you you means can't ja and no means nay. No, no. And here in Norway we go ja, ja, nei, 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 da, ja, da. Juda. Juda. And ja, ja, nei, nei, ja. So no can mean yes and yes can mean no. And yes. So if you ask me how are you? How are you? Yes, but you know, you understand it's no. What are you doing now? Have you entered that school that you wanted? Yes, but you know, no. Okay, you have arrived to Norway, you start talking to some Norwegian colleagues and Norwegian friends and you know that Norway is a rich country and you have noticed that your Norwegian colleagues, they like to brag about how rich this nation is. Yeah, they are very yeah, rich. Yeah, so you are down at the lunch table and then suddenly you ask your colleague, and how much do you earn? Oh, <laughs> then you made a social poo because you will find yourself in an awkward, silent situation and nobody gi will give you a straight answer because in Norway it's kind of taboo to ask how much do you earn? Yeah, but Even we, can brag have... about, we can brag about what we own yes. and buy so the way, instead. So the way you will understand how much a Norwegian person earns is by listening to all the things that he or she have bought. 
And More like the house. Yes, because you can talk about apartments you have bought, cabins you have bought, boats you have bought, sports equipment you have bought. But you wine. Can, yes, expensive wine, but you can never ask how much do a Norwegian earn? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing a unique Norwegian weekend habit. When you live in Norway, you will find yourself doing this each weekend after a party. Because we Norwegians, when we want a beer, we drink it from a beer can like this. And uh, instead of throwing the can in the trash after we are finished, uh, we need to clean out each of these cans and you spend like 10 or 20 minutes on this uh, after a weekend, after a holiday and something. You might be thinking, why aren't you just throwing it away? No, we are not. Because each of these can be recycled and this one will give you two Norwegian kroners five of these, then you have a euro or a dollar. So 10 or two and you understand and the And some more, you have a new pocket. Yeah, so a Norwegian ritual, weekend ritual, is to have many bags of empty beer cans and go down to the store to recycle them and get your money back. So, why am I here in a bedroom with a sleeping bag? Well, you have been so lucky to be invited to a Norwegian home and it's like winning the lottery because Norwegians don't invite strangers to your home but here you are and you are in their spare uh, bedroom Welcome, and Rolo. you are uh, really tired. Thank you, thank you. Oh, here's your bed. Thank you, Go thank to you. Bed. I'm really tired. Yeah. Yeah. And we say nighty nighty. See you tomorrow. Nighty. Oh. <sighs> uh, excuse me, excuse me, host, Norwegian host. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to open the windows. Oh, so I'm so oh, here, here you have some nice fresh air. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I see you have the oven on. Oh, so here we go. Oh, fine. Good night. Good night. Uh, because Norwegians, we sleep with our windows open and our electrical stoves off during summer and winter, even with 20 Celsius, minus 20 Celsius degrees. So when you are invited to a Norwegian uh, home for sleepover, bring your own sleeping bag. Uh, you have learned that Norway is a very modern country by, based on science and logic, rationality. You can talk about everything, nothing is embarrassing, nothing is like uh, too hard to talk about, except one important thing in life. And you're hiding behind it. And that's it. death. Because when death suddenly is a topic, Norwegians, we run away. Talk about that. No, 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 no. Yeah. We don't want to talk what, about. What do you think we about want, dying? No, 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 no. We what want, do you think about we want dying? To for, we want to forget about Hello. death. Hello. No, 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 no. Talk it, about no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> death is a not topic. I don't no, want no, to think about it. You are. I, I don't want to die. Yeah, I but want you, to live. Everyone is going to no, die. No. So, don't bring death to the table as a conversation piece because the only thing that will happen is that we are way no death! Death! No. Hello! So, when you are in Norway, the first thing you will notice when you walk down the street and so on, you will go like, oh my god! Are all these people going hiking and trekking? Are everyone ready for a mountain trip or something like that? Because you can see that old people, young people, women, men, girls and boys, everyone wears a backpack. 
And no, it's not because we are going on hiking and trekking. Backpacks are an essential part of Norwegian style, Norwegian everyday life, and it's a very fundamental it's thing. It's our second apartment. We yes, bring our in a second way. apartment. And everything you try, you need to carry away, you try to put in your back, yes. Norwegian backpack and just walk away because it's a fundamental thing in Norway, backpack. Finally, you have arrived to your dream destination, Norway, and you are expecting to travel around, to see beautiful landscapes, beautiful fjords, and when you come to the cities, you expect to find clean and uh, uh, regulated streets and buildings yeah, and like everything, and beautiful parks like this. But uh, I will tell you what you will see most of. Graffiti! Welcome to Norway. Wherever you are in the streets, let's say in a city like Oslo, it's graffiti all over. It can be uh, halfway beautiful as this. It can be ugly as that down the road there. Is it ugly? Actually, 10 years ago, people were raging, oh, get that graffiti away. But now I think people don't mind at all. What do you think of it and itself? I love this graffiti. And I think that uh, it makes the city more uh, urban and it feels like there are actually people here. So, uh, yeah, you won't find that in those tourist brochures. This is number 10 and the most important thing to understand about Norway. And if you don't, if you want to have a social life in Norway, never ask this question, actually. Okay, are you transgender? Yes, I am. Oh, just went through surgery yesterday. Of course, everything is gone. I've been to prison? Yes, I have, and I'm very proud of it. Oh, you had a violent childhood as well? Yes, I did. And you go to the shrink? Of course, I go to the shrink. Have you been earning your living by a prostitute? Of course, look at me. Okay, and are you Christian? Hello? I'm very, very religious, aren't you? What do you say? In Norway, you can ask me about am I everything, whatever. But you can't ask me if I am Christian or religious. Because that's the most kind of taboo thing to talk about or be. And in Norway, we think that being religious, being Christian, is an extremely intimate and private thing. Why? And nobody should ask you in public if you are Christian, Muslim or Jew. <laughs> or anything else. No, because if you ask a Norwegian that question, Sorry, you can't uh, stay here in Norway. You have to go. Where are you going? What? No, don't. Don't follow me. No, no, no. I'm going to the shopping center. I'm what? going to the SMS club. Oh, is it No, cool? I'm going to the gay, gay bar here. Oh, you, you're going no, to... No, I'm going to the transgender place. I'm, I'm going to prison. Oh. This is not a church. No. It's not a church. I am not it Christian. It looks like a church. I'm not Christian. No, I'm not. Go away. <laughs> Nobody said that. Who said that? Don't. 